Yo guys, what's up? Record that in the last video I did, I told us that you can withdraw your money using the P2P. I also let, let us to know that P2P is not the only way you can withdraw your money. You can as well withdraw it using on-chain. So in this video, I will guide us how to go about withdrawing the money using the on-chain. Alright, so as you can see, I am already logged into the, to my account, to my Fluid Finance account. So... I just logged in and I was brought to this page that shows my wealth total balance of account. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, and cards. So I already have twenty dollars here. And if you scroll down, you you will see something in this place that says fluid accounts. There is the first one that has should there is there are two DUSD. There is the first one here, and then there is the second one, the one that is grayed out. The first DUSD where I have the twenty dollars is the digital USD. That's my digital my account on Fluid Finance. Now the second one that says that shows that is grayed out that also says DUSD. If you check the color, you discover there is a little difference. The second one is for on chain. Okay, the second one is for on chain. Why the first one is my digital account on Fluid Finance. Now what I what I want to do is to move this DUSD. This is my digital and uh, money. Okay, my digital DUSD to on chain. By on chain, I mean connecting it to um maybe Web3, my Web3 account. Okay, I want to connect it to my Web3 account. I want to mint it to convert it from off chain. That's from be from being a digital account to on chain. That's linking it to um my Web3 account. So how do I do that? Once I've logged in my account, you can see this this icon at the top that looks like um that looks like a link, okay, so that has a red coloration on it. I have to just tap on it. Once you tap on it, you see something like that says it looks like you don't have a, 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 have a wallet installed yet. Please install to continue. Now, to make this faster, I will, I will encourage us to go to Play Store, okay, go to Play Store and download MetaMask Wallet. Download MetaMask Wallet on Play Store, okay. MetaMask, okay, download it on Play Store. I already have MetaMask here, okay, I already have it. But to make your own faster, make sure you download MetaMask. Remember that MetaMask is also um, part of the Web3 wallet we, we, we are talking about, okay. So make sure you download the Web3 wallet. Like I said, I already, make sure you download MetaMask wallet. I already have it on my phone, but I can equally go right ahead and click on install MetaMask. Remember, I already have it, so I'm waiting for it to load, okay? Here it says in install MetaMask for Android. I already have it. I could as well click on install MetaMask wallet. Now choose activity, MetaMask. So what it does is that because I already have it on my phone, it will just lead me to where it is, okay? And open up, instructing me to, um, key in my verification okay i'm waiting for it to op load up and open just let's just give it a moment to open up okay all right metamask it has opened now once this thing opens at this upper section where you can see wallet you can see that it's linked to arbitrum one so you should make sure that your 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 the metamask once it opens make sure it's linked to arbitrum one of course, it automatically, once you open the account, what you'll be seeing is what? It's ERC20. It's ERC MetaMask is e, e, um, Ethereum is ERC20. But because Fluid Finance is built on the, the, the bridge they are using is Arbitrum 1, okay? So you should make sure that you link it to Arbitrum 1. So how do you do that? Go to these settings, okay? Go to this menu, menu icon, tap on it, go to settings. Once you go to settings, you see something like... um. You see something like um, networks, okay? You see something like networks. Click on networks. You can see you, it, automatically once this thing opens, what you should be seeing is Ethereum main network. It's, that's the RC20, Ethereum main network. But you are, we are not working with Ethereum main network because the bridge Fluid Finance is using is Arbitrum 1. So you have to connect it to Arbitrum, Arbitrum 1, okay? So go to this, you can see custom networks. I've already added my Arbitrum 1. Click on the Arbitrum 1. Automatically, it changes it, changes it to Arbitrum 1. But in this, it, let's say you do not want to use this method. You can as well use, um, go to the Add Network part of it. Go to the Add Network part of it. You have to um, check in this very arbitrary one okay the configuration it has 
look at the configuration all this information that you have here network name arbitrary one rpc url okay chain id symbol and block S explorer url okay so you have to note down this information and if you want to add it add the network by yourself just click on that and you know custom networks network name you start filling all this information here you start filling all this information we saw on that arbitrary one then after filling it up you just go right ahead and add but there's no need for me to do that because i'm already linked to my my account is already linked to the arbitrary one network okay so what i'm what i just did now is to show you guys how you can link your chain to arbitrary one because automatically once you download the metamask wallet what you should be seeing is what is ethereum um is ethereum that's the rc20 that's what you should be seeing okay that's what you should be seeing but we just we need to convert it to arbitrum one we need to change the chain to arbitrum one because that's the platform that powers fluid finance that's the chain they are using okay and of course you need to have uh, some ethereum to take care of your transaction fee and the gas fee just no matter how small you could just get maybe five dollars or ten dollars but just know that you'll be paying a little amount for for your transaction fee so already i have about 0 0.005 ethereum that's about six dollars i already have six dollars here to take care of my um to take care of my transaction charges even if you don't want to send it you can as well use your card to buy it you can as well use your card you use your um, debit card or credit card details to buy some ethereum okay but make sure that it's on arbitrum one chain or you can just send it what i did was send i sent mine here i sent ethereum here i just clicked on received receive and just just copy my um, my ethereum wallet on arbitrary one then i went to buy i want to ftx because ftx actually supports arbitrary one so i sent my ethereum from i sent a little amount of ethereum from ftx to this very um this very account using arbitrary one chain okay so i have successfully linked my metamask wallet to arbitrary one and then the next thing i will do is to go to my browser you go to your browser click on okay once you click on the browser what you have to do is to link this you use the browser to access to access fluid finance okay use it to access fluid finance it it it, it opened automatically because i've already linked it up but in the event that it has not really been linked up how do you go about it let me also show us how to go about it. in the event that you it has not you've not automatically linked it how do you go about it so in the event that i've not i've not linked my fluid finance account to my to this metamask browser so how do i go about that how do i go about linking that just click on this menu icon go to browser browser opens this search search or type url when well, you go there and type app.fluid app.fluid okay uh, app.fluid.ch that's the link okay go um, that's fluid yeah look at it here okay so automatically it opens now if it does open the next thing i will do is to impute my login details let me as well pause this video and impute my login details okay i have imputed my login details and i was brought to this very place okay of course i don't want to use good i don't want to use the p i don't want to use the p2p to withdraw the money i want to withdraw it on chain so i just go right and click on maybe later and what i want to do is to convert remember i want to convert my digital dollar to on chain okay i want to convert my digital dollar to on chain okay and i click on this convert and what am i converting i'm converting my digital dollar to the on chain dusd digital dollar to on chain dusd uh okay this one this is what i want to convert and how much do i want to convert i want to convert everything here that's 20 dollars 20 dollars to from digital dollar to on chain okay whitelist your address in dsd smart contract uh okay i just go transaction fee remember i told us that we'll be paying a transaction fee 
the which is one dollar and this money won't be coming from here it won't be coming from this my money money instead it will be coming from that ethereum that ethereum i, I funded my account with so that's where they will be taking this um one dollar transaction fee from okay so i go right ahead and click on convert if i want i can whitelist whitelist your address in dsd smart contract i can decide to whitelist this so that anytime i want to convert it to just automatically go okay without um any um hitches along the way so but let me not whitelist it now i can go right and click on convert so remember i'm converting my digital usd to on-chain usd on-chain dusd so i go right and click on convert okay let's see how that happens it's trying to mint it's, it's coming up let's give it a moment to fully convert okay okay so here is the next icon that comes up so i have to convert the i have to confirm it so i'm trying to mint this mint my convert my digital usd to on-chain dusd okay so i have to confirm it here is the information account balance suggested gas fee that's 0 0.00001042 ETH. that's about um one dollar or so and then i confirm it right confirm transaction in web3 fine that's that's it so transaction is submitted so i'm waiting for uh it to fully mint transaction complete tap to view this transaction okay let me see the transaction uh, okay okay here yeah, they said the maximum limit is 19 dollars okay 19 dollars okay i i go right ahead and click on transaction fee all right i get it now they'll be taking the one dollar from this so i go right ahead and click on convert Okay, you pay $19 transaction fee is $1 you get $19 okay total $20 confirm I confirm it then I have to impute my two-factor authentication uh, two-factor authentication I go to where it is where I have it that's nine six nine six nine seven two seven nine six nine nine six nine seven two seven uh, all right add token to metamask okay main process initiated you receive 19 dollars to this my wallet on arbitrum within less than two minutes let me add the token to metamask okay add it i want to add this dusd to metamask because i don't really have it there add token to metamask uh add token it's coming up yeah I've, I've added it token has been added now i can as well go back to my um my metamask wallet to know if this money has reflected go to wallet you can see it here so i now have my dusd here i now have my dusd and i now have my dusd here and then my eth my ethereum so if you want you can withdraw this um dusd or you can maybe convert it to another maybe convert it back to ethereum okay all right so i have successfully moved my digital dollar to on-chain dusd okay so to access it again go to wallet you can see it here it's already showing 19 dues don't don't mind the 10.16 dollars you're seeing here don't worry about it so what i want to do again is to move this my digital dollar because sometimes you know it becomes uneasy to uh, it, it's not all exchanges you know you know you can't find dusd in most exchanges so i want to convert it to the the to um a, a currency that i can easily maybe see in uh, all right guys so successfully we've converted we've moved our digital dusd to on-chain dusd you can see it here we moved it from this dusd to the current one to current currently showing on-chain DUSD. So the next thing we want to do now is, let's say we don't want to withdraw this DUSD from our MetaMask wallet. We want to maybe convert it to another currency to withdraw. But remember that any currency you're converting it to should be supported by Arbitrum chain. So make sure it's it's, it's um, a currency that is built, that 
is built on arbitrum chain or that that has a chain okay that has an arbitrum chain okay affiliated to it so that's pretty much what we want to do so to swap this current on-chain DUSD to another cryptocurrency on Abitrim chain. Click on these three dots. You can see here beside that thing that this thing that looks like a chain or a link or something. So tap on it. You can see swap. Click on swap. Okay. So wait for it to come up. Waiting for it to come up and eventually comes up. See what what is showing us here. We have our D DUSD that is on-chain, and the balance is nineteen dollars. Remember we were charged. One dollar when we try to convert our digital DUSD to on-chain DUSD. What we had initially was twenty dollars. So we tried converting our um, digital DUSD to on-chain DUSD, and they, we are charged one dollar for it. That's why we only have um, nineteen dollars remaining. Okay. So what do you want to swap? We want to swap. Um, how much do you want to swap? We want to swap the entire money. That's the total money. We want to swap nineteen dollars to. Okay. We could either do. AETH. This AETH simply means Ethereum that is built on um, Arbitrum chain. Okay, we could do AETH, or you can as well search for the token name you want to um you want to move to. Bo. But one of the things you should you know take cognizance of is whether the very coin you want to swap it to. Okay, whether the, if it's supported by um um Arbitrum chain, if it's built on Arbitrum chain, and secondly, you need to know. If it's tradable, because what you really want to do now is to convert it to that uh, currency that you can withdraw and set, send to any exchange. So know if the coin you want to, the very coin you want to withdraw, know the exchange that supports it and know if it's something that you can easily trade and maybe um, withdraw to either USDT or whichever currency that it is you want. So one of the coins here is ethereum we've seen that we can easily convert to ethereum let me also look at usdt if we can do usdt yeah we have usdt here okay we have AUSDT and ordinary usdt so i think this AUSDT is the usdt that is built on arbitrum chain so let's try swapping this and okay see what we'll be getting 18.5526 and the uh, slippage is that and um okay minimum received is 18.36 so let's just go ahead and swap it and see how it goes okay i'm waiting for it to swap see okay um total confirm confirm the swap confirm it i could confirm okay awesome transactions done you've swapped currency successfully so this is just the simplest way of converting your digital usdt to you your digital usd to on-chain usd and then from on-chain usd from that you can you can swap it to another currency of your choice and then withdraw so let's go to let's go to a uh, metamax to know what we have here to know if it will reflect okay i'm trying to um um, let me search for let me search for it. Okay, let me search for it. Um, how do I add currencies? Let me try importing it. Okay, add fonts now. Nah. All right, so here we are on the MetaMask wallet. So far, the the token we've swapped has not reflected. So what we are gonna do now is to try importing it. We want to import that um. AUSDT we we just um swapped so I click on import tokens and token address I'll have to put the token address which I've already copied and the that's um AUSDT AUSDT so the thing is that immediately I put the token address the the symbol will just come up the 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 token decimal is six and the token symbol is AU it okay a usdt let me try importing it imports okay yeah you can see that it has reflected so we have 18.459698 AUSDT. so i think this um this usdt is one that is built on Avi, yeah, it's it's on Avi blockchain. Yeah, it's on Avi blockchain because 
I tried checking it out. I saw that it's it's the USDT that is on Ave blockchain. You can see it. A A USDT is on Ave and blockchain. Yeah. So that's pretty much everything about it. So comfortably from here you can withdraw. Maybe you want to withdraw this to sell it to maybe Binance FCS. You can withdraw and you know sell it off there. Alternatively, you could equally swap, you know, you could swap to you could swap your DUSD, you could swap it to Ethereum. In that case, you'll be using A E T H that's Ethereum that is built on Arbitrum One um, network. So guys, that's pretty much everything about converting your your digital dollar to on chain then from on chain you swap it to another currency of your choice that you can comfortably withdraw i will see you guys in the next video and please kindly follow the fluid finance africa telegram group i'll be leaving the link at the lower section of this video and if you like my content kindly subscribe i'll see you guys in the next episode peace